I kind of did eco-criticism and I found it really valuable because it did teach me so much about how much I'd assumed through, you know, through, through my culture, through being a white fella. Um, but some of us, and my erstwhile PhD supervisor Kate Rigby, I, I think would be on side with me on this one, some of us as eco-critics pretty much tip over to, be, to, to become deep ecologists. Because after a while, when you've pointed out how stupid culture is, it gets really easy, you know? It's like a shotgun into a fishbowl. Oh look, another silly story. Uh, ads, my God, don't even start me on advertising on television. Um, so what, what I think lies behind eco-criticism and behind that whole environmental movement, for me anyway, is deep ecology. And deep ecology does something very, very similar to indigenous wisdom very similar to those kind of black fellow practices. What it says to you is, yes, you're a part of nature, start acting like it. It's real, it's a practice. It's not just a clever way of pointing out how silly some stories are. It's actually saying, get your own story right and make that story. You've got to think like a mountain is one of the famous phrases. You've got to get in your body, recognize that you're an animal, you have appetites, you rely on certain things like agriculture, the way water's used. You know, this is real. It's about environmental activism as well. And so for me, um, going through eco-criticism into deep ecology, really going back to deep ecology because it spoke to who I felt like I was, was a great, great way of dissolving the diff distance between culture and nature, coming down to being nature um, and to feeling through that, that it's okay to be me. Because I think the problem with eco-criticism and the problem with criticism in general is um, it's, it's a very effective practice for deconstructing, but where does it leave you? It actually still leaves you outside of your own story of being a sacred animal. Uh, and, and for me, it was like I needed an antidote or some kind of medicine to help me to move through that and to say, well, I've done my job as a critic and now it's my job to be a healthy animal, to be loyal to the earth and to live in a way that is activist. So, you know, as opposed to flag waving down on the barriers, stop the G20 activism, which uh, I've done a bit of, just living in a way that actually activates being nature, being thoughtful nature, being responsible and loyal nature, and recognising that the trees and the birds and the rivers and the landscapes and the animals are, are akin to me. I feel for them, I have loyalty to them.